still in the Mojave Desert, and I'm gonna go to a location that's been photographed, it's been um, videoed, it's been on YouTube lots of times for, uh, I think, lots of stupid reasons, uh, really stupid reasons, and um, what these videos were were just kids going up there pretending they were being chased or being haunted, hunted by serial killers and all this crap and you know none of that's true there's nothing like that up there the place is called Go D Gold Dome uh, just inside of here of Ivanpah and uh, everyone's heard of Ivanpah and, uh, I don't know if you've heard of the actual name Go Gold Dome but that's the name of it and I guess it was the name of a the bank <coughs> that ran it but uh, regardless we're going over there we're going to walk around. I've been there several times. Actually, I went there one, one year. My, my wife and I and our dogs were traveling through. We came we came this way. We, we drove through this dirt road to get to um, Beaumont in California because it's kind of the fastest way instead of driving on the 15. I, and uh, so we drove this road down and we stopped there. And when we stopped to Gold Dome, we were walking around and we were hearing this like massive humming sound and we couldn't figure out the humming sound as where it was coming from until we we pretty much came right upon it and it was a huge Africanized uh, nest a hive huge hive huge I mean <clears throat> excuse me um, it was huge it the room it was in was the electrical room and it built it they the african bees built its nest inside of this electrical room uh, inside all the panels so all the panels will were full of these africanized bees and there were tens of thousands i mean this thing was huge um from the floor uh, up to the ceiling I'm kind of going the wrong direction. So from floor to ceiling, over the ceiling, down down a ways, just, just massive. I mean, I don't know, nine feet tall by seven feet wide. Just just huge, massive uh, Africanized uh, uh, beehive. And so we, we didn't even go near it. We saw it, we didn't go near it. And um, I, had to, I had to pee, I had to relieve myself. So I went to do that on the backside, and when I did, I don't know what what happened or what caused the Africanized bees to um, <laughs> go on attack, but they did. And uh, my I opened the the, the Forerunner vehicle up from remote. My wife and the dogs got inside, and I, I was running for my dear life. And I did get stung uh, on my stomach, and that thing lasts for like four months on my stomach. It didn't go away, and man, it hurt. And, and it didn't. It, it was like stinging through my shirt. So, uh, for the most part, some of them we, we were able to kill before they stung me, but only got stung by one. And well, lo and behold, as time goes on. Um, this crew came up here, indecise, I think, or something like that. Uh, they're they're basically these political artists, and they go around and they do art. Well, they locked it up, and I'm guessing they went in and they burnt down the hive. So they burnt down that room. Literally, it's gone. It's been torched to to get rid of the the hive because what these guys were doing is they were cutting out the, um, the stamp mill with all their art, which I think everybody's seen. Indecise, I think it's called Indecise. And um, in order for them to use their tools, their grinders and their plasma cutters, the torches and stuff like that to cut the steel, 
I think it kind of uh, activated the uh, the hive. So, in order for that to not happen, they had to burn it down. So they burnt down a section of this uh, uh, stamp mill, and you know, for a political environmental group to come in and do that, well, makes you think, right? You wonder really who are the ones causing all the problems out there. So, but regardless, this is not about politics or anything like that. I'm just kind of telling you the story for what I believe what happened and what they did in order to do their artwork. And they burnt down a section of the stamp mill just to do it because of the Africanized beehive that was there. And I'll show you once we get there so you can have an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, this is a very popular place, so a lot of people go there. The last time I was I was through here, I was going to do the same exact thing. But unfortunately, there was somebody... I think someone was going to try to live there. And um, we'll see when I come back through again if, if, he's, if he's there again. Because he had his broken down truck and trailer... And the guy was from California. Well, this is California, regardless. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, he was parking and get himself all situated up there. And I drove through and kind of just drove real slow. And he kind of hid himself uh, from me as I was driving. And uh, once I passed him, he came out. <clears throat> so, so yeah. So, uh, again... Thanks for coming along, and uh, give me a few minutes here. Actually, it'll be like that once uh, once we get there. Um, if, you, if you've if you come back, thank you for uh, coming back as a viewer. If you haven't, please uh, hit that subscribe button and give me a like. And if you got anything to say, write down the comments. I, I'd love to respond to some of you, some of you out there. Uh, so, again, thanks, and we'll see you in a bit. Well, I'll see you like... So this here is where the Africanized beehive was, all through here. This whole area was covered in a beehive. And for these guys to come in here and do all this cutting, they had to eliminate the bees in order to do so. So by doing so, they burnt it down. As you can see, got all the way up there. I'm sure they had some sort of control over this, but they had to burn it. And these bees were everywhere, all through this. Literally, they were just all the way in here. They were all the way up there, all over there. They were everywhere. Not no more. 
So a lot of people don't know that. <clears throat> That's why this, this is no longer here. That's why this section is gone is because this political group in decline came in and burnt it down to kill all the Africanized bees. So, yeah, let's go up. There's all the I don't know what these are. You're gonna watch for holes in the ground. Yeah, a lot of people come up here, obviously, to do their artwork. Some of it's not art, some of it's just crap. I'm telling you, they spend so much time doing this junk. Let's go up here. So we'll put some tape on it. We'll find out why. And their spray cans. It is. This place was not in operation for a long period. Very short. <clears throat> I'll show you an aerial view of all this 
I'll fly over with my drone so you get a better idea of how it looks. always think about like, camping over here but the problem with that is like I said this is a well visited site a lot of people come up here and they stop in be stop here first maybe take a break a lunch or something and then continue down Ivan Pa Road which is right out there <clears throat> Just on the other side of those, and it goes up, up that mountain, up and over, and uh, that goes towards the 40. So, if you didn't want to drive on the 15 freeway, which is right over there, where you see those solar, the solar mirrors, if you didn't want to take the 15 freeway, well, you can come this direction, but just realize you're going in dirt all right well yeah As you see, we're here. We're the only ones here right now. It's very quiet. No noises. Just me. Just my sounds. I don't know why someone came in and did this. A lot of tape up everywhere. I'm not sure why. I don't have a flashlight on me, so we're gonna walk down here. I came up here one time in the middle of the night and came through here and a uh, pack of coyotes were coming through. This goes up to that. What do you got, the Khmer? This is the Khmer here. Let's see if my... Uh, Thing has a light. I can drain my battery. Hopefully, it's catching everything. I don't know if it is. just goes out but we can't really get out that way because there's a screen down there so okay yeah nothing like I said I've seen other youtubers come through here and play like they're being chased or there's something in there haunting them and all that stuff and there ain't nothing like that so we can come up here got nothing to worry about explore adventure check it out see what's here all right let's see can i i'm gonna stop here i gotta shut my light off okay lights off all right Yeah, here's the name of them right here. In Decline. I'm not really sure what kind of group they are. 
<clears throat> but they go out and they do all kinds of artwork all over the place. And some of the work is really good. Then <laughs> they're doing this type of shit right there. They're burning down. section so that they can do their artwork but kill all the bees i don't really care for bees but they destroyed a part of this place they really did actually they destroyed a lot of it it's, it's interesting how whoever came up here they're all being about mr safety and putting red tape all over the place <laughs> on the ground. Let's go over here. If you wanted to, you could camp here. Mm -hmm. Park your vehicle right here. Set it all up. You'd be up and out of the out of the way. Like a sub pump or something. It's full of water. Not much to knowing all what all this equipment is. Here's all the ping pong balls. Some, not a lot, but they're around. What is it with guys drawing pictures of dicks? I mean, seriously, <laughs> what makes a guy draw a picture of a dick? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Who cares what you think about all the time? I don't care. Keep it to yourself. It's the dumbest thing ever. Alien thing is all over the place. Well, this is it. Get much to it. And this, this box is extra. This was not here years ago. So someone brought this up here. So. And I don't know what it was used for. Do you? And then these tanks. There's nothing in them.
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this thing was used for. It's crazy. Well insulated, it's got a floor. <clears throat> Howdy. Upper deck of where all the conveyors are, where basically the rock gets dumped in, gets crushed here, goes down, drops to the conveyor below, goes up, goes down again, down to this one. So obviously it's getting crushed again. And another crusher and gets in here and goes up, goes to another one, gets crushed and down another conveyor and down to that silo over there. It's an interesting process. There's some more in there. On the belt. Not saying that's worth anything, but who knows? Yeah. See it down there. Yeah, it'd go up there into there down because then it'd become a fine powder. By the time it hits here, it's a fine powder. the uh, multiple crushing process. We're gonna have to go down, come back up. I ain't crawling. This one's missing a belt. This belt's gone. You want a workout? Ooh, this is steep. Don't look like it. Those steps aren't right. Yeah, here's a crusher. Crush the one in here. Right onto the belt, and off it would go. There, into the next crusher. Man, crazy. You know, somebody else is here. Here's the electrical room to operate all this. I said a lot of copper's already gone. Someone came and wiped out all the copper. Crazy, huh? Look at the shaker. Get all the springs. Crusher. So 
Not sure why that belt's there. <clears throat> Not sure about that one. Here's the chute for the upper one. Let's go to the upper one. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. It's interesting. Well, I guess it's part of the belt. Look how fine that chute is. Guessing that would be dropped. Down over there. Your drawer. There's the crusher. It vibrates and just smashes those rocks up. I don't know if those things have anything in them. I don't know if they ever found gold up here. I know it's called Gold Dome, but. That doesn't mean they had gold. Seemed like a lot of work. Yeah, look at this. That come from above. All right, let's check it out. I don't think there's anything down below. It don't look like it, so let's go up. <clears throat> I'll see you at the top. So obviously, all the roads are leading to mines. I know there's mines over there, there's mines up there, mines over there. There's mines everywhere, so I'm out of breath going up these. <sighs> and they would come over here, back up the trucks, beep, 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 and then dump them. Bam. And the process begins. process begins by the time it gets down there you saw those are I think cyanide tanks so yeah the water keep the dust down I don't think these little sprayers kept much of the dust down but maybe they did I don't know I 
All right. So yeah. Well, I guess we could check out one of the mines and where everything was coming from. We'll drive up a little bit and uh, maybe, maybe over there, check out a mine. So I'll see you over there. Drove up to a mine, Let's see what's got. Like they dumped all this in here or actually fell. Bird feathers. Yeah. I don't really see anything. So I see poop. I don't know what kind of poop that is. But it could be mountain lion or it could be coyotes. It looks like it's too big, so it might be it might be a bobcat or something. Mm -hmm. It's possible. All right, there we go, there's a mine. Ooh. This might have been a pretty good working mine since they did all this work to it. I could be wrong, but there's the steel stamp mill, stamp mill plant is over there. So we're not too far. And there's mines like this, so probably throughout this whole entire mountain. They're just off to the side. Some probably exploratory ones where they explored to see if there was anything in them. And there probably wasn't. Again, I don't think I don't think gold was up here. I could be wrong. I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it. But I'm not a geologist, so I don't know. Hey, right, thanks for watching.